Hello, everybody. We got the camera working. Okay. So how's everybody doing on this Wednesday? Yay. I hope you're having a great day today. I am Heather and we come to you live every day, Monday through Thursday. So you can learn Luminous, learn all about us, learn um, how to practice, how to use it, how to um, whatever you need. Um, ask questions. Maybe you um, ordered it and you were able to get something that you're like, I don't know what to do with this. This is what this is for. So we are here for you guys. We always go over the basics. We always go over the starter kit. Good morning, Veronica. Good morning, Jacqueline. We always go over the basics. We always go over the starter kit because we know that we have people at different levels. And so um, going over the beginning for our newbies is super important to us because we want to make sure that everybody knows what's going on and how to start using it. Because one thing is you, it is different than putting on traditional makeup. So you need to remember that going in. And because a lot of people will put it on like traditional makeup and it's not going to do what it says it's going to do or what we say it's going to do because you're putting it on wrong. So we'll go over the correct way of doing it. Uh, and it's super easy. You just need to practice a little bit and you'll you'll be an expert. Good morning, Jeannie. How are you? Luminous, good to see you. Cindy Martin. Hello, Christina. So good to see you. Zandra, good morning, Linda. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Becca. Becky. I don't know why I said Becca. Becky, good to see you. And let's go in and look at one of our starter kits. This is just one starter kit. This is our icon. We also have the icon Pro and the legend. We also, of course, now have the breeze, which everybody loves. It is our new cordless chargeable one. And it gives, um, you know, both of them or all of them work flawlessly. And, um, and I'm going to be using the breeze, um, but all of them work, you know, the same. Uh, except for once it has no cord. Uh, and then it does come with makeup. It comes with everything you see here. Now, again, you may have received other gifts, either a gift of purchase, or maybe you have the chance to order some stuff, but this is what it comes with. Two bottles of foundation, love and blush. And so the love is something that you might not use every single day. It's going to give your skin some luminosity. Um, and then the blush is super high pigmented it is going to bloom on you. So it will intensify a bit as well. So when you first get it, we want you to get it out of the box and turn it on. And I'm going to show you with the icon. When you turn it on, whether it's the icon or the breeze, there's air that comes out. And so I want you to work on holding this four finger widths away from your face and just move that stylus around feeling the air. Wherever you feel the air is where the makeup's going to go. And so you can concentrate on that. Then you can put water in here and then lightly pull back on that trigger and airbrush water on your face. You want very little to come out. Releasing that trigger is pulling back that needle and letting the makeup come out. But guys, when I say this, uh, hear me out. Very light. We are so used to seeing the makeup go on with traditional makeup. And that's what we think it needs to be with airbrush. And that's not the case. You actually kind of want to question whether or not it's coming out. That is how light you're spraying. One way to practice is put a couple of drops in your stylus and airbrush a paper towel and let it and, and work on having that makeup show up gradually, not all at once. Um, and that's a great way to practice. So, all right. Good morning, Marilyn. How are you? I think I said hi to everybody. Did I say hi to everybody? I said hi to Cindy, Christina, Marilyn. All right. <laughs> Marilyn, Marilyn has them all. She, she's like, I like this one over this one over this one. All right. So I am going to grab my breeze. And then I'm going to, I have like a collection of waters starting for some reason. Um, I was trying to think of what, um, like a different order I can put stuff on yesterday. I think it was, no, I did one day. I did, um, my eyes first, the eyeshadow first, um, and, and change, you know, kind of changed it out. Now today, what I did, I was 
putting on my eyebrows before leaving and I had a, a lotion like a moisturizer that had a little bit of shimmer in it and so not necessarily shimmer it's pretty much like love um but it has some luminosity in it and I actually put that on as well so I don't know if you can tell but it does have a little bit of iridescent to it um and I was starting to think I was like if somebody didn't have this maybe you could put a couple of drops of love shake it up put a couple of drops in your daily moisturizer if you put on a regular moisturizer rub that together and then put that on um that would be something fun to try and maybe we'll do that one day um but you can also put love on first all over to do something different right all right so let's go in i think i'm going to use I'm going to use the color correctors. I'm going to shake. Oh, no, pouring rain. Oh, color corrector. Hey, there you go. But Zondra, I just saw you. So I am going to use the color corrector. The two that I basically stick with are the peach and the green. The green is going to help with any redness. So if you have redness on your face, um, like I usually have some redness around here, um, you can use the green color corrector. The peach color corrector is great for sunspots, dark circles um things like that now what's great is any skin tone can use it peach is a little bit easier to use because it's more of a fleshy color regardless of your shade it is more fleshy than the green but when you're putting this on so light again that if i was using the green you're not going to see green okay so i'm gonna go in put about three drops Marilyn, it really varies. Um, if you're doing the M1 primer or boost it as your moisturizer, um, three or four maybe, and just kind of spray that everywhere. There are times when maybe I'll use a little bit more around my eyes because maybe a little bit more of my lines are showing. So I would do that. We go under my eyes. Now I also do it on my lids because my lids are normally dark as well. And then I have some sunspots over here. Now this is the color corrector and I do use it for dark circles and sunspots, but I'm going to also use it to cover any redness. I'm not going to switch back and forth. And you might think, well, how do I know what to use? clean face, turn around and boop, look in the mirror. What's the first thing you see? Is it the redness or is it the brown spots or dark circles? That's how you'll know which one you need to use. Martin loves the peach. It's been foggy in Texas for a couple of days too. All right. So that is gone. I can feel just air. I don't feel um the spray them or i don't feel the product because there is and when i say that there's a coolness to it it's not going to feel wet or sticky but there's a coolness when the product's being released to your face um and then you can also of course hear it right we can hear it all right so now and i am going to do kind of a more of a holiday look um because this after this evening I'm going to um, look at holiday lights and there's a production at our church that I'm going to go here or see. Um, yeah, they do. Jeannie, they do. The lashes, the lash lure is our magnetic lashes and they do sell separately. Yes. Uh, I have some over there. <laughs> They're in a smaller box. I was wondering if I had some in reach. All right. I'm going in with my matte bronzer. <clears throat> and I just did a couple of drops. And so I'm going to go in and do it right here. Now, this will show you how light I am spraying. See how it's coming up? But notice how you don't <clears throat> see it like that. Go around.
Can you use color cosmetics for eyeshadow? What do you mean, babe? What color cosmetics? All right, so I'm going back and forth. And just doing a little bit more. And I think I'm out. Yep, I can feel just the air. I don't hear the contouring coming out or the product coming out. Now, if I felt like I needed a little bit more um, contouring, I can add a couple of drops. I always put, and and this took me a while to, to do because we're so used to using so much more makeup that we're like, oh, two drops are not going to be enough or three drops are not going to be enough. And it ends up, of course, being enough, but then we waste our product. So go lighter on drops and add a couple of more. So you're not wasting the product. Well, color cosmetics, our color cosmetics, we do, it's the eyeshadows. So which ones are, which, like, which ones are you talking about? Color cosmetics are the, like our traditional makeup is what we call the traditional makeup. So we have all the eyeshadow palettes. We have all of that. Um, yeah, well, Zandra, Zandra's asking where the bronzer goes. I'm using the bronzer to contour. It's the matte bronzer. And I kind of start at the top of the ear and go down, um, but cut, but don't go all the way to the mouth stop, like where the color of your eye is. So I do it this way. If you made a fish face, it would be right there. Right there. Um, and then I do a little bit here as well, just to... Um, kind of break it up a little bit and right here. So I didn't get a chance to really do right here. So I am going to go in and add a couple more drops of my bronzer. So I can hit that bad boy. <laughs> so go up and down, up and down, up and down. I do feel, I will tell you guys, I do feel since since the pandemic and us wearing um, masks and stuff like that, I do feel like everything has come up. <laughs> like meaning, I'm gonna blow the rest of this out. Um, meaning I feel, I think it taught us a few things. So I do feel like things have moved up as far as the placement. Um, and it really does make, because I saw somebody the other day did this, did half a face and how it really raised the face. You know, we're always fighting gravity and defying gravity. And so we need, we're always, we need to think up, up, up. And so doing this a little bit higher, like having to go this way is going to give my face some shape. And hopefully raise everything up. Now I'm going to go in with the um, rose gold. Well, let me see. I did the rose gold the other day. Let's do, I'll do pearl this time. I'm going to shake it up. I do my brows first um, for two, <laughs> two reasons. I am not stepping foot out of my house without my brows on, number one. Uh, but number two is it really defines the face. It gives me like starting points, especially when I get to the eyes. Um, and you know, it, it's really up to you. You don't have to do brows first. Um, it just, to me, when I get to my eyes, it helps me gauge where everything is going to go. And it frames the eye. So again, when I'm putting everything on, it helps me with the placement, if that makes sense. But like if you wanted to do foundation first, so you don't have to worry about your brows and then do brows next, you can do that for sure. So Christina, when do you do your brows normally? I'm adding Luminizer, the pearl. The air, oh, you want me to use the airbrush? Uh, let me see if I have some, and I will. All right. This is the Pearl Luminizer. And I'm going to put this in the high cheekbone area. 
Now with our luminizers, you do want to make sure that you shake it up because of the, the shimmer pigment in there. It is um, a little bit heavier of pigment. So make sure to shake it, shake it, shake it. And because I am doing all of this first, I can go a little bit overboard because I, I'm still putting on the foundation. I'm going to blow the rest of that out. What are we doing? <laughs> Cindy's like, you can, with Luminous, you can, whoop, turned it off. With Luminous, you can do whatever order. And that's what it really is. Um, Marilyn, you don't have to. Uh, Marilyn asked, do you have to uh, do your brows? And you, depending on your brow, you don't, you don't have to. Um, you also don't have to do them as detailed as mine. If you like the shape of your brow and you don't, you know, maybe you just have a couple of bald spots or a split or something, you can just fill that in. Um, so you don't have to do them as detailed as I do. You can also just like brush it through um, and then not have to worry about it. It just depends on what you like. I like a more defined, fuller brow than what I have. And so that's why um, I do it that way. Does that help answer your question? Let's see, let's see what I have here. I'm looking at my eyeshadow. Uh, what is this one? It's not what I thought latte would look like. Um, let's see what we have. Shake them all up. Martin sometimes does her brows at the end. Christine has been doing them first. Yeah, it's just what you're used to. Um, I do find that if you can, if you change things up, have you ever like done your makeup so much and then you're like, I'm just not feeling it anymore. Um, like you don't think you look as good as you, like I feel changing it up on the order or even colors or whatever really helps you pay attention to what you're doing. If that makes sense. Sometimes we get where we're just like, Oh, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And I feel like it keeps it fresh. If you can kind of change it up a bit. All right. I'm going to do latte. Is this one? I can't tell. Oh, espresso. Okay. Maybe we'll do these two. All right. So now I'm going to go in. Hey, Kara, how are you? Is there a BB in the bottle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, a BB? I was like, a BB cream. Yeah, there is a BB in the bottle because that helps um, with the shaking up. Now, when doing eyeshadow, guys, little, little bit, you do not. In fact, I put like three drops in here and I'm definitely not going to need all that. All right. So this is a latte and I'm going to do this as my all over color. Uh, let me grab my mirror real quick. Yes, you can change it up. Every time I do eyes, when this hits my Eyela uh, my eyelashes, it gives me the shiver. So if you see me shiver, there's one. Ooh, it tickled. And there's two. Now, if I wanted this brighter or what, I could do that. Now, also, when, go when doing eyeshadow, you are going to come in a little bit closer. Um, because the closer you get, the more precise it is. So for foundation, we're four finger whistle away. If we do blush or contouring, we can be three finger whistle away. And then for eyes, you'll come in a little bit closer. Okay. So if I need it a little bit more, and again, you know where it's going because you can feel the air. I, I can feel the air tickling my lashes. So I'm going to concentrate more, this more on the inside. And there you go. Okay. 
So that's my light color. And yeah, put way too much in here. And then turn this off. And now I'm going to do espresso, which is a brown as I open it. Kara, how are you doing? Because this is brand new, I def or because I just unwrapped it, I definitely am going to shake this a little bit longer just to make sure that um, it's mixed. Oh, thanks, Jeannie. All right, so now I have a espresso. Turn my system on. I'm going to just put a little bit on my... There we go. Put I spray a little bit. Usually I do my hand, but on my paper towel, just to make sure that that color is now what I'm getting in here. And so now taking this, I'm going to put this on the outside and blend. Now, remember your stylus blends for you or your breeze blends for you. So holding it here, making my movement. Very lightly pulling back on the trigger. back and forth. Now I am going to switch to this eye because I want to give each side, because I'm only concentrating on that outside edge, I'm going to give uh, each side a little time to dry. Oh, awesome, Kara. Kara just bought the breeze and she's waiting on, on it to arrive. I'm so glad you're joining us because you'll be ahead of the game when you get it. Ooh la la. You can bring it over as much, bring it up as much. But guys, the, the movements that I'm making are very similar to the same movement I would be making with my brush. So I would be doing this back and forth, back and forth. That is the same movement that I'm doing with this. <laughs> Bring that up and over a little bit more. And now I'm going to go this side. I don't know. Can you see that? Or maybe it's this way. Make sure my sides are even. This one's a little, get this one a little higher. Right there. And right there. All right. And guys, it's that easy. Again, if you're, if you're playing with it and you're checking to see, okay, hey, I feel the air. I know the air is here to here. Then you, you're going to have a better idea of, of how it's going on. Now, I'm going to go back and do my foundation. So I am going to clean because I'm going from that brown to my foundation. Now, I'm going to line under my eyes with a traditional eyeshadow. Um, you can do the airbrush. However, it is um, it, it's something you're going to have to get used to because you are going to feel that blow, the air blow in your eye because you're that close. And so that could, that it's going to take some practice. And so if you want to work on just doing the lid, uh, oh, the other thing too, if let's say you're, you're starting and you're doing it and it came out too much and you're like, ah, what are you going to do? You can tap it out or you can take a brush and blend that. Okay. Blend it. You have to do it pretty quick because it, it will dry fast, but you can blend it with a brush if you need to at first. Okay. So now I'll take my shade three in the rose. Now, because I have the all the pre-stuff on, I don't have to do as many drops of my uh, foundation because I already have some coverage, right? 
All right, so now I have about, I did about four drops. And now I'm going to start. Thank you, Christina. Making my passes. Um, Jeannie, you could use a uh, love, you could use glow to lighten it, anything lighter. Um, you could use your foundation to lighten it. Um, if that comes out too, too dark at first, but also watch how you're spraying because <clears throat> it should, you can spray it so light that it doesn't show as bold when you first start out. Go down my nose. And then finish that up. Yeah. Oh, that was good. I was out of makeup. Now I'm going to clean it. Let me get a new paper towel because that one is dirty. And then cleaning it is just blowing water through it. And then every so often you want to blow your tip top cleaner through. And then I always go in, especially the breeze when cleaning it because you know, the needles protected with the breeze, you do want to back bubble. And I wait till almost the very end and then back bubble. And there we go. All right. So now I'll add a little bit of charming blush and you could, you know, you could have done airbrush blush before this. I'm doing just a little bit of charming blush. Give me a little bit of pink. And then I can take my nude and naughty and go in. Boop, no zitch. Underneath. Like that. Rock bar. And then what else do I have left? Lips and mascara. I'll go and let's do, you know what? Let's do, this is another one that I like of the um, Vinyl Slick Liquid Lipsticks. This one's Waltz. Um, it's going to be great for this time of year. Oh uh, yeah, try to try it again. Kind of got a chromatic look going on, monochromatic. There we go. Rubbing that together. Grabbing my mascara. No, Christina, you cannot. That needle is protected. Um, so there is no way, but that's why the back bubbling is very important when cleaning the breeze. So wait till when you're blowing the water through, wait till it's almost to the end. And then, um, and then back bubble and, um, you'll, it'll spray. So kind of cover it too. Um, and then that will help you. Put on my mascara. And I'm good to go. Now, again, you could add a eyeliner, lashes, some shimmer, like right in here to add some shimmer, whatever um, floats your boat, right? Oh, you don't like you use the lip liner? I use the lip liners as my lips all the time, all the time. Um, Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, we are done for today. Hey, we're here Monday through Thursday, 1030 a.m. Central Time. Click that link below. Check out the products that we use today uh, from the airbrush eyeshadows. Check out the breeze. Check out all of our amazing products. So, um, so we will see you back here. I hope everybody has a great Wednesday. Yay! And I will see you soon. Bye for now.